corner of the room, on the floor, there is a dais that is uh, almost entirely uh, Trud iconography. Which one was Trud? The Dwarven God of War or something? Leland is the first who gets a good look at it, usually because he's at the front. Um, and Leland, it has an inscription on it that says, The strongest walls are not made of stone. They consist of brave dwarves. And it says this what in Dwarven. That in? Okay, then I wouldn't know that. Well, the thing about it is, when you read it out, when you read it, you can't help but to read it out loud. And uh, while he says it in common, everyone else sees it, and you can see it's in Dwarven. Hey, yeah. Picking up languages, are you? What? The whole the tried thing? I didn't know you read Dwarven. I, I don't read Dwarven. No need to be humble. The, uh... Shaven Dwarf kind of Stretches, cracks his knuckles, and says, um, Now for the fun part. I'll go ahead and let you guys in. And uh, he, he begins to approach the dais, and it shifts in a clockwise fashion, revealing a staircase. And the shaven... Dwarf seems a little confused, but says, right, There we go. Why the confusion? You've done this before, haven't you? He says, I can't say that I have, actually. Not many. Well, no one is supposed to go down there, but when we found out about what's down there, we have to get our hands on it. And what plus is thirteen down sounds there? right for Don. He doesn't he doesn't have full DAB, I think. I didn't realize he actually did. He, he was using Unchained Monk. He has full DAB. Or even if he isn't, it would be plus 14, because the other two classes have uh, full BAB, and he, he'd only lose one. size mod is also not factored. You see what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> it's weird that we have the exact same amount of HP. That's crazy. Uh. And Leland is up 50? 55? Wow. To give him oh, a bigger crazy. hit dice. And more constitution, I'd imagine. Yeah, only slightly more constitution. Slightly more constitution over 15 levels. That's only 15 health. I don't know where the other 40 is unless I just rolled healthy. You probably just rolled better than he did. But uh, Wassalot actually kind of posts up. Finds himself a... a Decently comfortable spot to overwatch the the staircase, essentially. 
get the feeling that he's going to be expecting your return. Good, he should expect it. Who among us can't see in the dark? I have a wayfinder. Leland, light it up. Not have Wait. any special dark sight. Sable does not have dark vision. I don't Can know. Sable Dom use does. magic items. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you a uh, scroll of dark vision. I'm gonna give you two scrolls of dark vision. Oh, that's a use magic device, isn't it? Well, you you do you count as like having spells from like your crafting stuff? Not for the purposes of using scrolls. Oh, okay. Can you use magic device? Uh, I have a plus one in it. Oof. Uh, okay. Then I will hang on to these scrolls. Uh, who else can cast these things? Sorcerer, wizard, uh, anti-paladin. Okay. I'm Nobody. sure I can do that, right? Do you have use magic that. device? I, I have uh, Dawn a little bit. has Blood Rager, so it would be on the Sorcerer spell list. Ah, I have a, cool. I have a plus okay. 10. But I think he has... I don't know if he has any kind of dark vision or not. He should. Oh. He's half fiend. Or like part fiend or something. Probably didn't note it down. Well, they're only going to last for like uh, three hours. Yeah, let's just throw them all up on people right now and we'll take care of it later if we need more. All right. Just keep it dancing lights up or would that be easier? Well, I mean, yes, but I don't want to. Obvious. It'll attract attention, yeah. 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 Not that the guy with the glowing beard doesn't, but does it glow or is it just like ambiently color changing? <laughs> I, I would say it's a very, very soft glow. It's not like a flashlight. It's like a banana would glow from radiation. What? Over cover your beard. <laughs> no can do skis. Here, put this fake beard over your beard. Hey, there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll give I'll give uh, Francis. You carry two of these dark vision scrolls so that I'm not the only one that can save people. Um, yeah, yeah. And then I'll cast one on Leland and one on Sable, under the assumption that Don can see. Because I can't see him not having dark vision so you guys have dark vision for uh three hours out to 60 feet it is black and white dark ah, vision. here it is visual night vision. uh eighth level of uh hell knight it gives him low light vision does he have eight levels yes he has nine levels oh he has what vision? Low light Low vision. Light. Oh. It's... <laughs> it's not terrible. Yeah. It's not, it's not what we need. It's like dark it's vision light. Bad. Yeah. It, I mean, it's better than dark vision in, like, uh, like outside of the range, like, outside of 60 feet. Some would say it's better than dark vision. At certain is distances. You can still determine color. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Constant low light vision, full round action, see through five feet of stone, wood, or similar barriers. He didn't get dark vision from his like part fiend thing. I no, don't know. I don't think so. It's just a sorcerer bloodline. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I thought the whole like merged with his armor thing. Why aren't we permanent seeing dark vision ourselves yet? Even the devil bound template doesn't give you. 
because yeah. bright lights really? are detrimental if you have yeah. dark vision. Oh, no, wait. No, it does. Never mind. It does. Creature gains dark vision. Depends on if you want to treat it as devil bound or not. He's not it's devil bound. Cool. Yeah. He's just got uh, armor. He's used to it. I'm going to cast dark vision on myself. I, I, I just realized I could do that. That's 13 hours, so I'm, I'm safe. I mean, I guess while we're at it, I'll put mage armor on myself as well. Uh, we can permit to see dark vision for only 5k. Later. Yeah. You come out of his cut. <laughs> sure, Lou. He'll appreciate that. Uh, I'm also going to hand out to uh, Francis. Here is two scrolls of Vanish. They should be caster level. Why does Dawn have an enlarged person prepared? Because he can cast it. <laughs> Just he learned it forever ago. And then he okay, got permanenced. Like... <laughs> it should be like cast level three. those away. That's Sorcerer Wizard, so Don can cast that too. But I don't think Don would ever make himself invisible. Dark Vision was caster level 2? Caster level 3. 3, right. Minimum yeah. level to cast it, so... Yeah, you made him at minimum. Yeah, those, those weren't mine. Okay, okay, okay. But I had them from somebody. Um, I'm also going to give... Francis, a, uh, uh, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you one of these. One scroll of protection from evil. Wait, what? One scroll of protection from evil. Wait, what? One more time. One yeah. scroll of protection from evil. Is he, he gestures to himself? It's like... No, 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 no. You can cast it on other people. No, he shakes his head. <laughs> but I guess I have to. Protection from chaotic evil. Yeah, there you go. Protection from chaotic evil. That sounds like a lie. Francis, you don't want an, an, an abolith just taking control of Dawn. I mean, it hasn't... Then, yeah, then, you then won't he be able to take control of Dawn. Him. I'd like to say that our only experience with an abolith was pretty pleasant. It's true. Yeah. There you go. So, I'm okay with it, but whatever, I'll hang on to it, that's fine. It's cast a level 3, Okay. Uh, and I'm going to give two of these Scrolls of Protection from Evil to Dawn, because I'm pretty sure he can cast that. Yeah, he can cast that. Sorcerer 1. He could do that easy. Alright, so I only have one of those. I'm going to give... Well, then can't do that. Oh, well, Don can do it. it. has a plus 1 UMD, if that's what you're asking. Do During... you can't cast any spells. I'm going to give a uh, scroll of true strike to uh, to Don. He should be able to use that. During combat and the, the instances before combat, I could apply the Glyph of Darkness, which grants dark vision and see invisibility to a range of 60 feet. When can you do that? Uh, for seven rounds, I can cast it and now I can cast it before combat starts. So, 42 seconds. And I can just good put it on for, everybody. Well, it would be good for if we run out and then combat starts. I think we should be okay for now, but that is an option. Because I think everybody's already covered by a, a, by a spell now. Well, you'd also gain concealment 50% mischance. Oh, that's that's fine. 
Okay, I'll go with other glyphs for the time being. Yeah, I think I think we're covered on on that. Maybe this is like a just in case. Um, I think I I think that's all the goodies I have to hand out. Okay. So you guys delve into the uh down the staircase and the staircase winds for a while before it hits a a cave structure. It just opens up into a cave structure. And it goes on for a long time. You guys travel for what feels like hours. Uh, give me whoever's leading this. Give me a dungeoneering. I assume Assist. Zeta would be a dungeoneering check. Sure. Oh, Leland or Don. Can I assist that? Probably up front. Yeah, Leland but it's... has a higher check than Don. Oh yeah, God. That's Leland. Here's Don. Good job, Don. Here's the assist if it's if it's possible. Okay. Okay. Add a <sighs> a plus eight to that. Okay. So you guys are traveling along trying to make uh, some assessments about this place and it is damper than you would have expected it's pretty substantially so are we under the uh the river it's hard to say from where you guys are, but you do start to see like little uh, blips of light in the distance. Can you, like, how big is this tunnel we're in? It's pretty big. You guys are actually unable to see the ceiling. Hmm. So that could be like a... So the things we're seeing flickering could be like higher up? Or are they more eye level? Uh, it's, it's hard to say, but as you walk further, it becomes more apparent that they are indeed higher up. And as you get closer, the lights become more numerous... Uh, and you see some that are actually nearby. It seems like there's some... Uh, there's small bioluminescent uh, fungi of some sort. Does it produce enough light to actually see? Not really. But at the very least... It, it does something to, if anything, it helps your pathing a bit, because you can actually see, quote-unquote, where the ground is right. in some in places. It's, they're not yeah. like, they're not like lining the walls. It's, it's sort of like a, when you look up, it looks sort of like the night sky, if it wasn't for the fact that the bioluminescence is green. That's pretty pleasant. Can we gather some of the mushrooms? Sure. Uh, as you, you pluck the mushroom, um, you you notice almost immediately that it does begin to dim. It's not like it just goes out, but you figure it will eventually go out. Right. But for now, it, it, it at least provides some kind of light. Like I said, it's not like a... it's. It's barely more than Obri's beard. It's something you can see at a distance. But it's not a something that's... And a torch. Right. It'd be useful... You could throw it down a pit, you know, 
and, and see if it stops. But it's not something that it's not a flare. Right. Yeah. Right, we'll put it we'll put it in the uh in the handy hamper sack. Okay. As you guys proceed, let me get a perception check. Anyone who wants to jump in. The Leland rolls. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, God. Oh, sorry, that's one less. That's 43. 43. Um, so, well, you're, you're paying pretty close attention here, and you realize that you are not alone. Um, in the distance, you can actually hear skitterings, and uh, f much further up ahead kind of mixed in with the, the green blips of light, you see a small red blip of light, which you can identify as some sort of fire. So it's a fire off in the distance. How far? Uh, let's see a Dungeoneering from Sable. Mm. Gonna go from a 28 to a 1. Uh, it's probably about a mile. Could have sworn I had a spyglass. Probably left it at the boat. I probably left it on the boat. God damn it. My truck boat truck. Uh, I'll go ahead and cast a uh, cast a spell. Well, does disable point out the the fire? Of course. Beep boop. Beep boop. All right, we're gonna cast Arcane Eye. Woo woo. Who died? Dustin. Makes sense. On brand. Yeah, Dustin is dead. Oh, I guess. I guess. Uh, let's let's take cover first. Okay. Roll a stealth check. Is it a, a stealth check for everybody, or is it uh, just for me? I guess it's just for you. It's all right. All right. I mean, uh, sorry, what was the last roll for? Sneak around. You see it as sneaking, we, not sneaking. We see, a, we see a campfire off in the distance. Oh, so he's the... ducking into cover, and uh, I'm going to cast Arcane Eye and go take a look <laughs> I'm invisible hey Zeta are we being quiet shh quit playing just... the music <laughs> Fred's gonna turn around and say what quit playing the music Francis is playing his sneaking music <laughs> 
this is a sneaking song. Yeah. So I'm assuming you send off the eye to go take a look. Well, the casting time is 10 minutes. Oh, gotcha. I want to make that part clear. That's why we need to hunker down. Uh, but then, yes. Okay. Uh, in the 10 minutes that you're there, Sable would pick up on more skittering nearby. Outside of eyesight, though, so you guys only have about 60 foot of dark vision. Uh, nothing seems to come of it as the spell is cast. What and then... Huh? What about your sight? Do you have your sight? Alright. So, I'm assuming you send the, uh, the eye floating over? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as the eye approaches, it's it's a little difficult. You probably have to turn the dark vision off to follow the the light, and then when you get close enough, kick it back on. And it seems like there's a series of like it's like a small. You'd call it a village if it wasn't so small. These little tents and little. Goblins? Question mark. Kind of a uh, meandering about, as well as these little creatures. They're. It's like if you took a bouncy ball and gave it most of its mass in sharp teeth. And then two legs. How awful. Yeah. But there, there's like some sort of... You'd imagine that they were some sort of... Um, like work animal or pet or something. Until one of these little goblin creatures stabs one. And then they... Like, a hor like six of them... Just start eating it. Oh. And it doesn't seem like any of the parties involved, other than the thing stabbed, is concerned about this. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, they're like, they're like sentient mouths that just like, kill each other. There, I just linked it. That means we don't have to deal with them, right? <laughs> That's not far off, actually. <laughs> it's brilliant, Aubrey. We just wait them out. They're just yeah, the little the little Nightmare ball of cows. yeah, the little ball of teeth is the thing that got stabbed by the goblinoid, and then. Basically, everyone nearby was, like, getting a piece of that thing that got stabbed. Yeah, so should, we should, we should uh, just go ahead and let them do their thing. We can't. Why is that? Because that's part of our job. That's part of why we were sent here. We have to go into that village and obliterate it. But we were never explicitly told what to do down here, actually. Only secure that nothing the mine. We... Right. How well, would a mine happened. be secure with that with that village in there? Well, are we in the mine? Is this is this our objective? I'm still pretty in the dark on that part. We're all in the dark. I think you're just arguing semantics at this point. Still, we have we a should... job to do. We should give it a moment. Give it a moment and see if they clear themselves out first. I bet Leland could take them. I mean, I they they are monsters, and that does seem perfectly apt for the Donovan Leland combination. So we just do I recognize them at all? You can't see them. No, not from uh, the description. Do I, do I recognize them at all? Uh, hold up. Let 
me see what knowledge this is. Knowledge Arcana or Knowledge Dungeoneering? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> it's Knowledge Dungeoneering. Yeah. Classic. Okay, Zeta, you think that just about everything involved here is some sort of aberration? Uh, give me knowledge of nature. Yeah. Um, you think that just about everything involved here is... It's, it's difficult to deal with conceptually. Because the little goblinoid things are the things that are... They're they're like aberration plants, Gross. but the little ball of tea things are like also aberration plants, except the split is different. It's like seventy five percent aberration, twenty five percent plant. But just looking at them, nothing suggests either of these things. Nothing about these creatures makes any kind of sense. That's why we should kill them. Kill things we don't understand. I mean, surely we can, like, talk to them first and then if that doesn't work Zeta you're the only one who has seen these creatures do they actually look like something you want to talk to sorry mm. let me rephrase that that Francis would want to talk to uh, we're already told that nothing here is going to negotiate so I don't think we should start out by talking especially with the beast Zeta's describing If we find something more sentient, I'll agree with that, but probably not the best plan here. We shouldn't charge in blindly. We should scout the area, look for a more advantageous position. Yeah, we can I mean, get we a. Spot can't up even on see what's around us. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast linked legacy. I mean. Does it look like they can fly, Zeta? Because I can literally just fly above them and just explode them with sound. Four targets? Yeah. Uh, so, myself, Obri, uh, Leland, and I guess, I guess Don even though he's not here. Um, he would still benefit mechanically. All right, so for the next uh, two hours, we have Linked Legacy. Whenever any of us succeeds at a knowledge check to answer a question within its field of study or to identify a monster in its special powers or vulnerabilities, as a free action, we can share that information between all of us. Hey, when, when I make that knowledge check to add double my int to damage, can they take that too? Uh, that would be identifying a monster, right? I have to identify the monster to add the bonus. I mean, you could give us the knowledge, but I'm not sure we can capitalize on it. Too bad. Yeah, that seems like more of a class feature that can't can't be shared. One day. Uh, in, in any case, uh, I'll cast that, and then I guess give everybody my knowledge of the uh, the things I'm seeing. Okay. Zeta, do you think being plant creatures, fire would be effective against them? Seems like a safe presumption. Probably a safe presumption. I fire switched... tends to make things, right? Switch my active element to fire. 
Dawn also switches his active element to fire. <laughs> it's either fire or no fire. Stance to take. Simple as. How do we want to move everybody in? Do we want to sneak up on them? Do we need to sneak up on them? That's that's. You I guys think seem that. like you'd be really good at just going in there. Uh, out of character, real quick. Who who was hearing the skittering, and did they ever mention it to anyone Sable else? did. I, I think we were all hearing the skittering. Or at least those that at least got above a 20, but Sable definitely heard it and definitely mentioned it. Yeah, we don't so... want to charge in until we identify that. Anyone have anything other than a perception to roll for that? Uh, what was it? The skittering that we're hearing out just mm. outside of dark vision range? Probably not. I don't know what else would be useful in that situation. Well, what are you trying to do? Figure out at least what what could be causing it? Is it a bug? Is it... How are you trying to figure it out? Does anyone have any way of... I don't know. Looking? I can send out some insect scouts, but it requires a fourth level slot. I don't know if it's worth it. What happened to Zeta's eyeballs? Or was it a single eye? I think she sent out the single eye. She could probably unsend it. Still got time on it, I bet. Cedar. Bring it closer to the wall, see if it gets got. I think Zeta died. Zeta? Uh, it's invisible, so it probably wouldn't get got. But yeah, I can send the... Uh, I need to concentrate on it again, so I'll concentrate on the arcane eye and it... it speeds up to life again okay as you kind of scout around the party with it uh you can sort of easily find the source of the skitterings these little balls of teeth with legs um there seems to be they seem to be quite numerous um and a lot of them seem to notice the party and are fairly ambivalous. They skitter from, from area to area and uproot mushrooms and then eat them. Okay, so they're just predatory squirrels or something. We're good. Yeah, they're just hanging out. They're just vibing. Just vibing with their mushrooms. Little trippy boys. Yeah, just let vibe with their mushrooms, man. Leave them alone. 
these are the ones that are like tearing each other apart as well. Are these the I mean, like, goblins stabbed one, and then a bunch of goblins as well as a bunch of these things started eating it. Yeah. So don't get gotcha. stabbed, and you're good. Yeah, it seems like they. Well, I, I live every day that way. Yeah, let's just. How about we just make as much progress as we can until we're forced to fight? We'll leave any smaller fights that that don't even acknowledge us for the way back. For when we're low on resources, I guess. Take anything head on that's big right now. Yep. No need to fight the goblins if they're completely passive. There is a or clueless. One problem. After 12 minutes, the arcane eye winks away. Okay. So just push forward? Said one problem? Yeah. Um, Zeta, give me a perception check. Out of 19. 19. Yep. All right. Never mind. Too bad. Sorry, boys. <laughs> we don't get ambushed yet. Zita picked up a mushroom earlier, didn't she? I did. Just a little one. I wouldn't even notice. Oh, just a wee little one. Speaking of wee little ones, how's how's Blood Ring doing? I think he's back on the demi plane, isn't he? No, I should have him back. I thought you left him in a pile of scrap. That was like two yeah, days but that was, ago. Yeah, that was a while back. I, I would have picked him up. Last we checked on him, he was a gauntlet. Yeah. Okay, so I just have I have a blue ring gauntlet. Yeah. Take it. It's probably very nice as well. Like it's like it's padded on the inside, so it's like the most comfortable gauntlet imaginable because it's perfectly okay. fit. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty jealous of that. Look at my stupid spiked pit gauntlet. All right, but yeah, I'll I'll uh. I'll fly around and, and lead the group towards the uh, the campfire. Okay. As you get closer, um, give me a dungeoneering check. Whoever is c capable. Let's go into one dungeon. Here we go. All right, Obri. And everyone else. You, you, yeah, and everyone else, I guess. You pick up that, um, just, just from keeping a mindful eye on the, the scattering of the bioluminescent mushrooms, that the, the cave system you're in here seems to taper off as you approach the, the light source. Does there seem to be an opening at the end of it? I you can't see that far, but you imagine that uh, the Zeta, only way a, through. Do you feel a breeze coming from anywhere, Zeta? Uh, yes, the one that's you know around uh, the time. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Do I feel a breeze coming from anywhere? From Zeta, yes. <laughs> Foiled again by the ambient breeze. <laughs> Alright, uh, well. I was always privately laughing on the inside when I thought of Shamin and Francis trying to sign documents while the breeze is going around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this cave system is. Every, every time she we... does the foo foo foo, a page blows into her face. Did we miss a, an offshoot tunnel somewhere? Never mind, let's just check the end of this one. How, how are you guys going to approach this 
somewhat campsite. Cautiously. Uh, I'll uh, I'll activate my uh, my skin and I'll fly over and I'll activate your skin. Yeah, don't worry about that part. And uh, I'll just yell at them to <laughs> run, creatures, flee this place, be gone. Uh, so or you just will kill you or stuff. Just fly into their camp and tell them to go away. I mean, that's what we're trying to do, right, guys? The British are coming. The British are coming. So, Zeta, you, you fly into this camp. And you you fly, like, right into the middle of it. And none of them seem to notice you. And then you say, uh, you know, get out of here. Flee. They all turn. Uh looking at you with scowls on their faces and then pandemonium breaks out as they all start shrieking and scattering in different directions see it worked guys um the majority of them seem to lead away from where the party would be As the rest of you just see Zeta fly over, and then dozens of screams of terror. What are the so odds a, they're uh, blind? How far uh, away is this? A regular fire day evening, right? It's, it's moon day. It, about how far away is this happening? I don't know, it depends on how far away you guys let Zeta just fly. That no crap. more than a hundred feet, then. Got to be able to get there in a few seconds. Sable says, not the desired outcome, but I guess they're gone. Would one of those directions they're fleeing be ours? No. See, there we go. So we, okay. should, we are being so lucid minded in here. You can hear the echoings of the, the screams and chitters and barks. Uh, Zeta, do you know any Orcish? Do I? Oh, I do. I know Goblin. If it's a, if it's like a, a poly, like a Creole of Goblin and Orcish, maybe. So you hear chitters and barks echoing uh, from from further in the cave system. Um, and it's only a couple of minutes before those chitters and barks are met with much deeper uh, growls and yells. Good. And then eventually there's just silence. Well, you guys gonna continue? Yeah, I'll check out the sure. campsite, see if there's anything of value. They, they didn't seem to have much of anything. Maybe there's some of the stuff that the dwarf is looking for here. You gonna? How thoroughly are you checking the camp? Uh, just a quick once over. Okay, give me a quick perception then. You want to just gonna... give it to me, or? <laughs> you can roll it. Oh, I got it too. Okay. It's um. Thirty. You don't find anything that has the traditional definition of valuable. You find some scattered knives that seem like they were made of 
stone that's been chipped away. Um, there's bags of uh, non-bioluminous mushrooms that have been left here. The, the tents themselves that are kind of scattered about seem to be made of some sort of leathery patchwork. Uh, the hides of other goblinoid things. Held together by bones. Not it's, great. It's basically, it's Crazy. basically all garbage. It'd be you would lose value by picking these things up. It's like physical I'll pick, debt. I'll pick everything up. <laughs> I want loot. What, what is it? Some awful taste, but great execution. <laughs> it's like that taxidermy thing from the Jade Regent campaign. <laughs> taxidermy thing. It's like, uh... Yeah, here we go. Earrings made from raccoon penis bones. Perfect. You get a couple of those for sure. <laughs> the uh, the baculum. Scott Bacula. Yeah, it's Scott yeah, Bacula. They they find Scott Bacula in one of the tents. <laughs> Scott Bacula's baculum. Yeah. It's the bacula baculum. So not only do we lose value, but we also pick up a terrible pun. Yeah. Which is also a loss of value. Of course. Interesting. So guys, what are we going to do about those deeper growls and noises that we heard? Just we'll have to figure out a plan when we figure out what it is. It's one of those cross those bridges when you come to it, thanks. Well, let's go. Let's go find out what it was. I mean, we have to clear out this place anyways. We might as well just right head on. This is literally the first class from Diablo 2. Go kill goblins. In a mine. He's just going to fly up and uh, start heading in the in the direction. Okay. Not not fast by any means, but... The rest of us what? can use Zeta as our North Store. Star. Our North Store. North, north store. store. Yeah. It's a store where you buy Norths. Norths? I'm going North store. <laughs> okay. Um, so, you guys travel down the tunnel a ways, I guess... Give me, give me a, give me a perception check. Someone in the back line. Not I. Guess I'll throw one out. There it is. Like this. Still pretty good. Uh, so Sable and yep. Kill Switch. As you guys are traveling down these, uh, down the ways, the cave narrows. Um, and the rough walls, again, begin getting more worked. And as you guys are traveling about, you hear that skittering coming from the, the halls behind you. Can I 
I'll whip around and see if I see anything. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, whip around. Uh, oh wait, this is I don't liar as ready. I mean, do we see anything? Uh, see for about sixty feet, and then nothing. And a whisper to the front line. I think there's something behind us. The road, Francis. The road. Not just that, Obri. I think there's other things on the road. We're not alone here. I'll listen a little closer. Uh. Okay, Obri. Give me a perception check then. I believe in you, Obri. You can do this. I believe in me. I believe you believe. Uh, Oprah, you actually hear something further up ahead, and it sounds like stone on stone. Like a, a grinding, sliding sort of sound. It's, it's faint and echoey, and it only lasts for maybe a minute. Does it sound mechanical? Rhythmic? Uh, not rhythmic, but... Unnatural? Definitely unnatural would be a good one to, to go with. Sounds intentful. I'll alert everyone to it. And advise we proceed with caution. See, I told you, Avery. As you uh, as you guys proceed, the, the the walls eventually kind of close in to about a ten feet ten foot spread. Uh, becomes much more worked stone, though very old and unkept. Uh, and you come up to a doorway that eventually leads into a. It looks like it leads into. The, a much more open room beyond and just looking through this doorway it looks like um, there's like a there's a light differential there so it, it almost looks like a wall of green it's finally ooze time A wall of green. This is where we lose Dustin's character in the ooze. <laughs> Every fucking time. Make two perceptions. Oh, I guess I should keep, keep walking. Splat. <laughs> time to re-roll this Dustin, dude's you character. Should, you, should, uh, you should grapple that. I am not gonna get all sticky. Not again. <laughs> 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 it's give me a knowledge to engineering. <laughs> this one shouldn't be difficult. Okay. Anyone who got over like a fifteen, um, it's it's pretty easy to surmise that the next room is probably full of those bioluminescent mushrooms. Oh, I gotcha. We figured it out, boys. And you mean everyone that got over 15. Everyone. Except, Except Don. Don, who <laughs> is linked, so he got it anyway. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Alright. I love it. So you guys... What are you guys doing? Let's press mm. on. Should we take some kind of precaution before going through this? How's that it's... skittering noise? Is it still behind us? Actually, the skittering noise stopped a few minutes ago. Say, well, perhaps you should burn through the fungus. Maybe it'll be safer than just walking through this overgrown room. You want me room. to burn some of the fungus? Do you have any 
Anything you can nonchalantly burn with? No. Hmm. Well, I guess we could just try to torch it. So you guys are gonna... mundane. You guys are gonna press into the next room? I'll light a torch. Torch. I, I, oh, I yeah. don't think the fungus yeah. is... Don't worry about that. ...that harmful. Yeah. yeah. It, it hasn't been, but we haven't seen it in this... In this much abundance before. We Not haven't tried to eat it yet. And I think a giant fire might, you know. If anything, <laughs> that would make it worse. Okay, fair enough. Plus, how flammable is this fungus? Is it take flammable? Inflammable? Non-flammable? I don't know, I want to take a small piece of it and cast spark Fire. on it. Fireproof, fire resistant. You cast a spark on it? Yeah. It doesn't seem to catch. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it, Obri. Looks like it's too moist. Alright then, let's push our way through. Okay. As you guys uh, proceed into the next room, a few... maybe 20 feet or so back behind you guys... Uh, like a stone slab just drops from the ceiling. And as your eyes adjust to the uh, to the to the green light in this room, you guys see Oh, can I do Pitch this? Black. There we go. <laughs> oh, poor goblins. Um, these goblinoid creatures seem to have quite a few of these pinned up ball of teeth in cages which they just open the cages for as you guys walk in and now's a decent time for initiative It would have been nice to shoot a fire beam into here before we started. Yeah, we didn't hear any of this, uh, these things doing noise beforehand. We'll be fine. Yeah. Fine. We Ooh, big Cedar with that 31. That's nasty. You what? <laughs> uh, Dawn is the 19. Ooh. I did well for once. I always do be feeling nice. I do you, did. Oh. You, did. Mm. you did well whenever everyone else did well, though. Yeah, I was gonna say, enjoy getting buff early, then. Mm, nice. I will. Couldn't have reversed those rolls, huh? Yeah, Zeta and a Donovan. Oh, you guys probably can't put in Zeta and Donovan's roles, can you? No. Uh, like I said, Dawn is 19, Zeta is the 31. Well, Zeta could have put in hers. Okay. But it... Surprise oh. to no one, Zeta seems to be first. Dawn should be Bic. Oh, this is true. All right, Zeta, you're up. Yeah, what's the, uh... God, I can't remember what it's called. There it is.
three. It's low. It should still work though. What is it? Spell level plus. What are you doing? Uh, um, I should probably explain. I'm using widen spell and I'm casting create pit. What is um? What's the meta meta magic modifier widen? Three. What's a uh, create pit spell level? Two. And... Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think create pit can be affected by widen spell. Does it say it can't in the thing? You can. Oh, it says you can alter a burst, emanation, or spread mm. a shaped spell to increase its area. Not a it. Yeah, it does not count. So I, I just can't even do it. So I just cast Creep Pit. Okay. Where are you trying to put it? Uh, we're trying to put it. Draw a shape. Yeah, you can draw your own shape. Oh, fuck. That's a circle. God damn it. It is 10 by 10 per two levels. So you have. 70 no. square foot. 30. Or sorry, 70 by 10 or 7, 10 by 10. The 30. Maximum of 30. No, no, no. With a depth of 10 feet per two caster levels, maximum 30. Oh, the depth is the maximum. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's what it is. Uh, 10 foot deep per two levels, not that many 10 by 10 holes. All right, that that should sufficiently put a hole over the uh, this entrance, right? Oh fuck! Right, is that gonna is that gonna cover up the uh, the gate? Or I mean, the gate's already intent. the gate's already open. But the intent is to put a hole where the Create. gate was. 10 by 10 foot extra dimensional hole with a depth of 10 feet per caster level. Oh, it's only 10 by 10. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. You can uh, you can try to make a hole there. Alright, uh, I'll activate my uh, foretell aura and uh, and that's it. Okay. Um... Standing in the uh, pit when you first conjure it, must make a reflex to jump to safety. Okay. I need to make a quick reflex for these two boys. Something tells me that doesn't make it. Nope. You're only looking for an 18. Only. Oh my god. Alright, so both of those boys are going to fall. Well. Quick, Opry, do the same thing to the other cage. Wait, the pit disappeared. Yeah, where'd the pit go? Ah. Yeah. We could do that. That's true. Oh, I can't. I can't send it to back. Yeah. I was gonna do something a little more aggressive. Shit! I can't select it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm doing this. <laughs> 
Oh my god. It's back. There. There we go. Did it. So they both fall 30 feet. Oof. It's actually a big oof. Yeah. Gotta find it real quick, but I'm pretty sure that's like 4d6. Start out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What'd they roll? Nope, they still didn't make it. You get a plus two. For being adjacent to it. In addition, the edges of the slope and you return to turn the square adjacent to the square. Oh, no, never mind. Wow. Just by being next to it, you could fall in. So it's a twenty by twenty bad zone. It's a it's about a something like that. That whole area around it's bad. But anyway, uh, we can move on to save. Well, I got to calculate damage real quick. I delay until after Francis. All right, Francis. Things happen so unexpectedly fast. Yeah, actually, 30 feet is 66 of damage. <laughs> wow. It's almost I... like you brought Fireball. Oof. I guess I have to do it then, right? Some little rolls there. 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, 5. Sable, maybe you should... Hold after Obri so I can open a pit as well. And you just pick off whatever's not in a pit. Oh, don't worry. I've got a plan. Kill switch. Okay. I want to sound burst all these. All these guys. Alright. I believe sound burst is what a fort save. Yes. I thought you were going to put your banner down. That's why I delayed. <laughs> I mean. Hold on. Not done yet. Wow, thanks. Wait, I'm just ruining my whole thing I was gonna do. Yeah, you yeah. gotta start off strong. How many, where are you putting it? Uh, I'm gonna, right here, so all of them, 10 foot first. Literally everything. Literally. Seven, oh my god. Fuck you, I'm just gonna roll 90, 20, and do the modifiers. <laughs> What's the save? Let's see. This is gonna save. look at this. Oh, actually, it's gonna be super easy to do the math. You're looking for 21. 21? Yeah. My casting stat's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Only three of them make it. So, and it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh. This one, this one. Thirty-two damage. The others are stunned. And this one. Okay. Thirty-two damage. Yeah. <laughs> Pray I don't what do it, it again. Uh, D eight per cat. For two levels. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. No, My plan is good. ruined. It's same. <laughs> he did thirty something damage to these little bastards. So even the ones that made the save just died. Yeah, it's not. It's not for half. It's for not being stunned. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only thing it it stops. The stun. But yeah, it's every four levels it goes up two dice. Mm. Yeah, it's not crazy, but you know. Um, you guys want me to eliminate the rest or do another or, or activate some? Uh. 
you. Can you do it again? Yeah. It's only a quick, swift action. Quick, quick oh, no, you've already used your swift action. That's yeah, one per turn. Per round, rather. Yeah, there's a feat or something you need to pick up to use a, a move or standard as a swift. It's, uh, it's the Doty of Style Master. Not the, not the Doty, it's the uh, oof. corset of delicate moves. Gives you once per day. But swift actions are generally like the class's class feature economy, so they don't they don't make them easy to come by. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I have a do this spell if I want. Use a meta magic on it because that increases the casting time to a standard action. <laughs> so cheap. <laughs> Empowered. We'll, we'll min-max that aspect of it later. Let me just confirm if this will uh, reach. Because I still have a standard. Fuck it. I'll cast Soundburst. Again? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually casting it. Like as a spell. <laughs> Pretty sure you're just the worst. I, I may not. It doesn't scale well as an actual spell, because that's only 1d8 if, if I do an actual cast. Eh, whatever. I'll pull out the banner. And, um... I will also take a defensive stance. Stay there. With the banner. Yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna cast. Oh. All right. Sable. Yeah. All right. As a swift action, I change my stance, and then we're gonna take a shot at Stunned Boy here. Does a thirty hit him? Uh, 30? Yeah, absolutely. Eighteen damage. Is he dead? Oh, yeah. Alright, we'll go Which one? The left one? The... Okay, this one. Uh, that one's gonna have some cover. There's a pillar between you. Ooh, right quick clear. Alright. I'll go after him again. Oh my god. Wow. I can't click quick clear again. Oof. That nighttime D D hit different. So that what applies broken? broken no, the I'm next gonna... one's a twenty. I would I would hero point that if your weapon's gonna be broken. Don't have any oh wait, I do. We just love yeah. it. Yeah. I'll hero point that. Reroll. Yeah. Okay. And plus four was it? Yep. Not that it matters. Yeah, you literally just didn't. Yeah, that'll that. hit. Twenty damage. That's to this guy. Yeah, he's not gonna make it either. My attack at now. And of course, he was the one I based my token on, but. Five plus four. And I'm 19. Going after. Not that guy. That guy's in a pit. That guy. Ooh, it was almost a one again. 
32 will hit, yeah. Team damage. And we'll go after this guy. Okay. That's all my attacks. I had five attacks. 18 on the attack? No, 18 on the damage. Unless the 22 doesn't hit. Oh, 22. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then 18 on this guy here. Gotcha. All right. So you hear a uh, a loud, low, um, basically a cacophony of roars. As two very large individuals come, uh, essentially squeezing their way out of these two doors. The doors are barely big enough to deal with these hulking brutes. And they begin to approach and get to it there. Alright, Dananovan. Um, I assume Don's going to charge one of these two. <laughs> that, that sounds about right. Uh, <laughs> Banner is out. Yep. Okay, so 15. I'm going to assume rage. Uh, that's 24. You'll get. What is his bonus on gauntlets? It he does not say. I don't think he uses gauntlets, does he? I think his unarmed strike's just better. I assumed his gauntlet was there to supply the enhancement bonus. And that was it. They say furious. There's no plus anything on them. So they have to have a plus one somewhere. But I'm pretty sure his total attack bonus is not plus one. So... 15 plus 9, 24, plus 1, 25, plus song is 7, plus 7, so 32. No. No, no he's getting 2 from the flag. Plus 2 from Just the flag? Just 2? Yeah. You're not singing? No, I, uh, I exploded the, the things. Yeah. Okay, so plus 2, so... Oh, shit. It wasn't plus 7, it was just plus 2? Yeah. Remember? Okay, I calculated plus seven. Ah, okay, so seven less damage on those two. Okay, so yeah. plus okay. 27. Now I need to find where all the power attack negatives are. Reckless Rage, minus one. So let's just roll with minus four. What did I say? 27, so 23. That's one. Two. Three. Oh, right, I have to roll the trip. <laughs> this, this is tiring. And he plays this every session. If the sheet was organized, it would be tolerable. Organized okay. for him. He, he knows it by heart at this point, right? But it was wrong. <laughs> the numbers are wrong. Okay. Uh, 
I'm gonna just take a shot in the dark on his, uh, his knockdown. That, that seem about right? <laughs> oh my god. Hold and on. then the <laughs> follow-up attack of opportunity. You have to get. A, you have to approach one of these boys. Oh, you, you don't have control of his I dude. Can't control I can I understand. Him. Hold on. So i yeah, I can. One I can... of these two. I don't care which. Hold on. I know how to do Probably this. Probably the guy directly in front of him. Probably. Fuck. And so uh, again. I hate this. Follow up attack. Hold on. I know what I can do. My roll 20, it is perfectly lined up. Oh, it was perfectly lined up for Don and Don's uh, roll 20 character to overlap. Yeah, so, right. There you go. You got a controllable token. Okay. So, it would be that because he has reach. Um. Okay, so walk me through. I'm gonna assume 39 knock trips. Let's see. God, I hate it. Where the fuck is CMD? They don't list it in their defense? right by flat-footed, right? No. No, it's under touch. 19... Here's our 18... Oh, you're talking about an enemy I'm block? talking about, yeah, enemy blocks. I think I fucking gave these guys character sheets. Here we go. CMD. What'd you do? 39? Yeah, that trips. Okay. Um... So I'm getting plus eight per hit from Reckless Rage and Power Attack. I have not actually read Reckless Rage. I see something here as well. Gives you an extra stack of Power Attack, basically. So, yeah, minus four to hit, plus eight damage. So uh, the 16 four. doesn't hit, obviously. Right. Is this D8 including the size modifier? Probably. I'm going to okay. say yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Best I can read this, I'm thinking... that for the first one. Alright. Then... That for the other two hits. Uh, how many attacks does he get? What do you mean? Total. Um, fuck, I just saw it. That's Leland. Two weapon fighting, or does that not apply here? No, that doesn't apply because he was. I did he charge? charged and did a full attack, didn't I? Is that yeah? yeah that's that's yeah. not. Hold on, let me see if the right. charge would have affected any of the. Actually, yeah, you only had one attack. It, well, I would have had this the first hit and then the trip and follow up. Yeah, okay. that's all three no. actions. It's okay. I got the so, math worked out. I would lose the last 25. Yep. I do live way closer to the train now, by the way. <laughs> Dustin, That's you are the train. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why he hasn't been a mouse lately. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I've been... Well, I don't know. I was exclusively playing on my work laptop before as well. 
The internet here may just be better. Maybe it was my internet. Somehow. Okay. I also see four... Oh, Don lost his fucking bubble. initiative. God damn it. Hmm? I killed his initiative because he, he had 20 initiative. Or he had yeah, 19 nine, initiative. 19. Okay, we're good. Okay. So charge, hit, trip, hit, right? Yes. All right. That brings us to these little bastards. They are going to begin trying to chew through the gates. These two have to yes, they not do. fall in the pit. I'm done. I think the 16 fails. What's the DC on these? 18. Oof. Yeah, so this one falls in. On top of the other one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> that bad. one that one is going to try to climb out, but uh, to be honest with you, he does not have almost any chance of this. DC 25. No, he actually doesn't have a chance. It's one of the pitfalls of not having arms. Um, the Goblinoid, on the other hand, has a much better chance of this. But he doesn't do it. Alright, Obri. Alright, should I go for the small guys or the big guy? Go for the big guy. Should go for the pit or something else? Uh, do something else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the rest of them in the pit. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to swift action to get into Kieran style, of course. Then I will... I'll move action into item mastery, energy mastery. And I'll use a standard action to... Hmm. What are these creatures? Uh, it's a knowledge dungeoneering check, so what you're looking for. So close to that 20. You're not sure. Okay. I will shoot a lightning bolt with the element of fire. Lightning bolt. This one. I can't ping for some reason. At that one. So you're going to lightning bolt it? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, with fire. All right, lightning bolted. What's it's got to do a reflex, right? Correct. It's a hundred and twenty foot line, so if we could get like this one in the back here somehow, that would be cool. You'd have to reposition yourself. I'll five foot step. Why are you gonna make me? Okay, it looks like it's doable. And put a hole I don't in think the that does it. Nope, that does not do it. Yeah, I don't be... think that does it. Oh, no. They both take 37 damage, a uh, fire damage. Uh, sets fire to combustibles and damages objects in its path. It can melt metal with low melting points such as lead, gold, copper, silver, or bronze. 
So if the fungus is flammable, it's going up. The fungus doesn't seem flammable, but the gate also didn't seem very sturdy. Just like scrap iron or something? It is. Uh, and that'll be it for Obri. Oh, wait, no. That is not it for Obri. Uh, <laughs> crab shoots this guy. <laughs> no. It doesn't have that much range on the gun. Oh, right, it's yeah, a five-foot thing. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those little tiny cannons. <laughs> I yeah. appreciate that you went straight for the crab gun, though. <laughs> you, you gotta be close to use a crab gun, because no one expects the crab gun. Yeah, no one the, the whole point gun. is for you to pin them so that Snips could coup de gras. <laughs> you can shoot them. Once you got him pinned, Snips pops out and he's like, you've snipped your last snap. <laughs> Oh my god, I said hello. How'd, uh, how'd the big guy seem to react to the fire? Uh, he seems very angry, and he barks out some angry words. Who here speaks orcish? Sable does. Um, you only catch bits and pieces, because... You hear, you hear some orcish words, but most of this dialect doesn't seem correct. Um, give me a linguistics. Give me one second. Sure. Okay. Uh, the, you can tell they're barking something at each other. Uh, the only thing you manage to pick up in Orcish is ugly dwarves. I'm highly offended at that. Sable, uh, yeah, it just says they're calling us ugly dwarves. <laughs> and looks to Zeta and says, especially they're they're especially talking about you. Aubrey tries to piece together some orcish to insult the orc back. What are you trying to say in orcish to them? Uh, just call them ugly tall dwarves. <laughs> Try to make my way into that. <laughs> he mispronounces the word ugly and dwarf and uses the common word for tall. <laughs> and I have like three, not, uh, three language slots open, so... I could fill it in somewhere when we get some downtime. You mean that language you learned last week? <laughs> right. I'm a fast studier. Alright. If Obri's done, we're down to Leland. Uh, Leland is going to take a uh, wider than normal stance and. Uh let out a war cry before uh, charging this boy. Uh, he Sorry. does get an attack of opportunity because he has reach. Okay. And I think the other one does too. No, I don't think you, you go through his... Uh... Sure. I mean, unless he has 15 foot... Well, you had to have passed through here through this square barely yeah uh, I, mean, I guess he can if he wants so I think it's a negative four for him because he's prone four. yeah because he's prone 24 that'll hit ooh uh, let's see 19 from that one and then the other one 26 hits as well I figured 
and then 26 damage. Ouch. Rude. Okay, let's see if I do the numbers on this right. Okay, this is probably going to hit. Oh, God. God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. That's a 36 confirm. Yeah, it sure does. Oh, okay. going to be big. Oh, he, yeah. So. Oh, dear. He wouldn't feel bad about this. Oh, dear. <laughs> what is it like? 8 D 12 times 2? Well, it's like, max you know, damage it's once. D sixes. Well, remember, we changed crits, so crits are max damage plus roll damage. Okay, see, that doesn't help me because this is a new calculation. <laughs> a new calculation? Okay, so He's my normal. Character now. Oh, yeah, I, I took. Yeah, I went ahead and took a uh, primal warrior stance, which ups size category by two. By two. For healing oh. damage. Oof. So weapon dice is doubled, effectively. Oof. I'm gonna assume that's. Oh, God, let's see. That's. Oh god. <laughs> We're all waiting with bated breath. There we go. Jesus Christ. That was a hit to behold. Alright. How do you how do you wanna so, how do you wanna end this thing's life? Leland leaps through the air and just smash it like through its weapon. Like Yeah, it throws up its weapon to block it to the... it just shatters it. Impales your sword in the hand. That's where Leland got the attack opportunity from was uh shrapnel. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually just the shrapnel from the sword hits him. That was a roll. Yeah. It was a roll. It was a roll. Oh, and hold Two on. Two ones, four sixes. Five sixes. Perfectly balanced. Oh, six, and I take five non-lethal damage. Oh. Vicious. Yes. <laughs> Is the other one scared now? Do orcs feel fear? Uh, the one on the ground lets out a ferocious battle cry. Oh, you're real intimidating, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> on, the, on the ground like that? <laughs> I should have used Furious Finish. Got some health back? No, just yes. dealt max damage. He has boots of the earth, so he always has health back. Oh god, that would have been terrifying. All right, it's uh, it's actually finally time for the gobos. Gobo boys. One... All right, there's two. There's two. There's one in the pit. I actually yeah. rolled his climb check earlier because I forgot that he had a different time for the other guys, so he fails his climb check. Uh, the other. Uh, the goblinoid boy goes in this direction. Alright, we're back to Zeta. Zeta. Where the Z-Man at? 
Thank God you have Leviosi Tar. Alright, I'm gonna cast a, uh, a Aqueous Orb. Aight. Alright, it's gonna vacuum up all of these things. <laughs> What's the DC on that? That's gonna be... Eh, it's gonna be 20. What kind of DC is it? Reflex? Or reflex. At least they have a shot, I guess. No. How many is it? Four more. The, uh, what size are they? They're small. Okay, it can hold 16 smaller, smaller creatures. It's okay, none of them make it anyway. Alright, and uh, with a move action, I'm going to move them over the pit. <laughs> In you go. So Soon. they each take 2d6 points of uh, non-lethal for being in the path of the orb. And now that they're in, they have to hold their breath. <laughs> they're still in the orb, though? They are still in the orb. They can They can try to weave the orb. But that's that's a reflex save on every one of their uh, their rounds. They uh, they're considered entangled, and uh, they also take two d six of non lethal for every turn they're in the orb. Coming for him next. All right, yeah, you guys you guys go ahead do your thing. I've got the little ones handled. I'll take care of the Gabo. Alright, kill switch. You uh you people want want saw? <laughs> want some saw? Well, want I mean we don't necessarily need it right now. Um I guess Okay, so since we got snuck by these guys, does it sound like anything else is coming? Uh, you hear, you heard a lot of, uh, roars from further in. Hmm. Might be worth it to put it up anyway. How hurt is that guy on the ground? He ain't looking too good. He doesn't, uh, he wasn't looking good when he got there, to be fair. Put a spear in that guy so hard. <laughs> Just have his soul. No, no. Calm down, Frank. No. Frank's Probably gonna his activate. soul's being wasted in a pit. I'm just going to activate um, Inspire Courage. Everyone will get the full plus seven. You just walk up to the orb and just start poking things in the orb. God. It's a bag of rats all over. It's a bag of rats. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I might. Orb. I think I might. It's not a bad idea, Zeta. Okay, well, I'll, I'll swift to start it up. Um, how far away is that orb thing? <laughs> I apologize, I am not at the computer. Wow! <laughs> wow! Look. Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's a 35 feet. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Damn it. I can't see it. If you charge it. Zeta's gonna uh, fucking pinata you. <laughs> Lift up the orb every time you go for the stab. <laughs> you can charge the, uh, the things in just, the orb. Yeah, just, just charge them. Coward. Wait, hold on. Can you swift and charge in the same turn? Yeah. Of course. Swifts are always available. Uh, okay. I'll do that. Okay. 
I'll charge one of them. Now roll your dice. Okay, uh, roll me a plus 17. Oh, it's a one. What? <laughs> Let me confirm it. <laughs> what? Oh, oh no, one. it's another one. He's fucking with me right now. That's no, a 23. Aw, oh, damn it. And 23 will definitely hit one of these boys in the orb. Okay, amazing. Wanna roll your damage? Yeah, I'm back. I don't know what your damage is. Oh, good. I don't I think he that knows what his damage is. <laughs> right. It's a <laughs> plus Looks at the spear. <laughs> what's your damage? Like, what's Francis doing? Hey, what's he doing over there? Is he trying to help those things? Yeah, okay. He's probably trying to make more friends. Right. Hey, oh, right. hey, yeah, or boys, give, my, give me a congratulatory spear touch. <laughs> Listen to my fine plane, now touch wow. my spear. Wow. Wow! Well, wow. at least it's damage. Wheel. 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 To kind of reach in and stab one of them. And now I need a reflex save. Mm. As Wait, you fall into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. I didn't consent to that. I didn't consent to going into the You're the one who charged the creatures being held over a pit. I didn't think I was going hey, into the pit. Francis in, wasn't in at the screen. I never thought the pit would I come for me. Had reach. No. Yeah. Uh, if it that doesn't involve me stepping into the pit. That's <laughs> it not doesn't. What it I doesn't involve you. I know you didn't try to step into the pit. So here, the <laughs> reflex save is you trying action. not to fall into the pit. You jump to stab something in the pinata and <laughs> Zeta you yoinked you in the hill. pit. Let's. <laughs> Come on now, you're just being. Silly. <laughs> I mean, you're the one charging things as a bard. You're the one being silly. What the fuck did when I... everything's <laughs> already wrapped up, yeah. you're like, give me that soul! <laughs> give me that soul. <laughs> Look, I'll, you did this. I'll play along. I'll play along. I'll play I, along. I still think it's absolutely silly that I have to, uh... You, you, do, know, get a, you do get a plus two to your reflex, reflex save. To stop my movement. No, it's because you ended your turn next to it. Next to a pit? Yep. Next to a pit Next with sloped edges. Pit with like a 60 degree slope into the pit. Yeah, it's in Create Pit, the spell. Isn't, it, isn't this a spike pit? No. No. If no. only. Just a regular pit. Okay, alright. We can do that. Adjacent to the pit. Do you add your plus two? Hmm. No, I didn't add a plus two. Tech, did did he ever make his uh his reflex save? He didn't have to make. I don't reflex think. It I don't think he. I don't think that matters. <laughs> <laughs> the DC oh, it doesn't matter for him. Okay. What was the DC? Zeta. A... Eighteen. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, I made it even without the plus two. Didn't 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 get didn't fall in the pit. Yeah, see, you're fine. Quick, somebody oh. push him in the pit. <laughs> Now's my chance to kill Kill Switch. Alright, did the thing die? Huh? No. These things were not even hurt, they're just suffocating. 12 damage didn't hurt it? No. But it does look like the rest of the creatures in this aqueous orb are now eyeing the stabbed one. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing. <laughs> yeah. Lunch. Give me some of that. Okay. Carry on. Okay. Sable. Alright. As a move action, I activate Glyph of Fire. So this is going to get weird, especially for poor Leland. Overkill. Yeah, this uh, is our last fight. See, so if you don't have to spend it, don't. I have plenty. Okay. My. It costs an animus to use, and I refresh animus every combat. Nice. Path of War. So, I, 
add one fourth of my class level to attack rolls, one half my class level to damage, and you ignore energy resistance equal to my class level. Run that bias again. Or, or better yet, put it in chat. Quarter to attack, half to damage, and ignore energy energy resist resistance up to level. Plus three attack plus seven damage. <laughs> and, and bypass energy resist. This includes adding it to myself. Going to then attack this Oops. goblin here. Okay. Yeah, hey, forty two will hit. Min damage. Uh, he was already hurt, but he's not dead yet. After 28? Yeah, they're actually surprisingly resilient. It's just you guys fucking nuke everything. <laughs> well, that's all I can do. Alright. Well, this boy on the ground is going to try to stand. Is gonna provoke from Donovan. Yep. Hit that twenty. I'm, I'm here. Right. Yeah, oh, go shit. ahead and take over. Do your thing. Just do your thing. Heard y'all were talking shit about my sheet. Yeah, as you Most, do. Mostly Nathaniel. Told the on. notes are all over the place, and I can only read my own chicken scratch. Yeah, I'll give you. You also just might want to change your size at the top so everything auto updates. Oh. You, but you know, as soon as you enter a value manually, that breaks. Right. Everything is just going to fuck up. Uh, attack of opportunity. <laughs> I take it I'm blood raging right now? Yes. Okay. Do we have a uh, banner? Yep. Yes. Yep. And, uh. Am I hovering? And Do we song. have song? Oh, and song. Yep. Yeah. Banner, song, and. Why is hovering? Uh, no, matter? you were. I did not think to hover. You just ran up and punched it. Should always be hovering. I get plus five if I'm five feet above the ground. What? Death, <laughs> Death from above is the feet that, that further boosts the uh, higher ground thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, also, you're, you're getting bonuses from Sable. How much? Three to attack, three to seven hit. damage. Three to hit, seven to damage. Okay, so banners plus seven still. Yep. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So Isn't plus Zeta plus is Zeta giving out the plus twos? I don't think I need to. Okay. Leland just rolled a hundred and seventy damage attack. He by did. The way. It was crazy. <laughs> that was without. Does a thirty nine hit? Yeah, thirty nine will hit. And it's plus seven the damage. I mean, plus how much damage? Plus fourteen. Total. Yeah. Seven of it untyped, seven of it fire. Fifty eight damage. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I'm yet we're afraid in a while. Of Oh, sorry. Let me add the power, the uh, CMB. <laughs> no, you, you can't trip him if he's getting up. But also, uh, as he's getting up, he lets out a guttural roar, which is then silenced. Cool. It's like death tripped him. We can do uh, all this damage. Yet we're afraid of an anti paladin. So the the roar echoes through the halls and is actually met by more roars. You killed my encounter too fast. Put that boy in the pit. Splits into four. Uh, we did take out how hard these things hit. We haven't been hit. Oh, uh, yeah, yes, hit. we have. About yeah, three Leland, Leland, Leland Oh, yeah. Hit. Yeah, like 19 damage. Is that Ballpark all? Ballpark, yeah, 3d6 plus 11, so ballpark 20 damage. Am I still full health? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Cool. 
What's kind of odd, I should probably have gotten a different token for this guy. Um, not attack. I'll do Just this. Just put a mark on him. I did, but you can't see the mark on him. Um, step in one step forward so we can see. Just so he could fall in the pit like Francis? Yeah. <laughs> do it. I gotta fall for your tricks. my spear for support. Yeah. <laughs> I'm retarded. That is the opposite of what needs to happen. Betray you like Zeta betrayed me, not telling me about the check. <laughs> you would never betray me, right, Zeta? <laughs> Alright. So the one in the back there is actually holding what looks to be... A pipe. A pipe. A pipe. That yep. orc's got like a gun. A, like a smoking pipe, or... No, it's like a, a Like a pipe. It's a gun. Oh, he's just gonna believe it works, right? Yeah. So 20 hit your touch, Donovan? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, we didn't fall out. It's a 21 damage as a projectile fires from this pipe. And slams into Donovan. Was it a cannonball? Oh, I just jumped. What it was made of? I uh, really don't want to know what it was made of. Make a fortitude save. Donovan, it's actually your turn. Right. Who is Blue Winnis? <laughs> Blue Winnis. Oh no. After this round, can we take ten? Sure. It's almost Thank 10 you. Uh, so first off, I guess I'll fly charge on over to one of these boys. Oh, do mark down that Glyph only lasts for seven rounds, and... Combat will be over by then, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I no telling. Fly to charge. Actually, can I even charge? No. I can't. Why not? not? Don't. How much space do I need to charge? Ten, Ten feet. feet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fly charge. Swiggity swooty. Coming for that orc booty. I'm coming for that daka. Ah, uh, just do this. Yeah, forty-four will certainly hit. Cool. Uh, he takes 59 damage. Uh, here comes the CMB check. Uh, CMB gets bonuses from Banner as well. Yep, it's an it's attack a, roll. It's an attack roll. <clears throat> so I imagine it gets it from Sables as well. Yep. yep. So that's plus Chicken 10 total. Bonus two attack rolls. Yep. It's plus attack 10 total. Stench. Cool. Uh, here you go. I guess. Does a 36 knock him down? I figured by now I'd be good at finding where the fuck this is. Especially since you looked it up not five minutes ago. Yeah. Here it is. What is it? 36? Yes. Cool. He's prone. I'm gonna step on him. <laughs> Run. Step. Also, add plus five to my attack roll. Ooh. Oh no. <clears throat> Saw that coming. Yeah, confirm it. That's fine. I don't confirm. Yeah, Even on a two. Fine. Oh well, I don't get the stomp. Perfectly oh, wow. balanced in all things. Perfect. Whatever. Just kill me and be done with it, please. <laughs> Would we kill right. you? These boys, uh, they're gonna try to escape. Pretty sure there's five of them in there. Oh, do they, meow? Actually, I'm poke reaction to poke at one. Two, two of them do escape. 
Uh, yeah, okay. give me give me an attack roll while they're falling. Yeah, first one that escapes is getting the poke. <laughs> and I actually forgot to apply a song last time, so this is... 22. Why are we fighting squigs? <laughs> yeah, 27 yeah. will hit. Because Close. those are tiny little creatures with mouths. Poke. Wow, oh. I rolled a two. They're mouths with tiny little creatures. <laughs> That's true. Death by a thousand spear pokes, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, I'll give him a little stab on the way down. Alright. So those two fall into the pit. And <laughs> 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 just Perfect. splatter. Not apply, did you not apply banner to your damage? I did. I just don't have any bonus to strength. <laughs> yeah, he's not Leland. He's a bard. But that's the same damage he rolled last time when he didn't apply the no, banner to hit. No, no. I didn't he apply it, it to hit last time. I didn't apply it to hit. I applied it to damage. And yeah. last time he rolled a 12. Uh, meanwhile... Clearly one higher. By the way, meanwhile, the things that are still in the orb have started to viciously tear each other apart. And this one... Uh... What the fuck is this one gonna do? Because I totally forgot what this one was a second ago. This one's gonna squeeze by... and run... up here. No, he's not. Does that guy get an attack of opportunity? Because that orc's gonna get an attack of opportunity and use it, <laughs> and use it as a grenade. <laughs> it's like you don't even know about Warhammer 40k, Leslie. Come on. <laughs> you know what, fuckers? <laughs> Fine. It's gonna use it as a fucking grenade. It's not really a grenade, it's more like it's gonna be a mobile CMB check. To see if its teeth latch on to someone. Because if a squig runs, it's not good for anything, so you might as well use it as a weapon. Keep in mind, that's Don asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna throw it right at Francis. You can't, can, you, can you see me through that orb, by the way? Probably. It's just probably. gonna need to make a reflex save when it hits that orb. To be fair, yeah, you're, the one that, you're the one that came up with the idea first. It's an orb full fact. of these things. How's he actually gonna get a good sight picture on me? They're small. Yeah, yeah but there's like... It's like when Romeo sees Juliet water. through the fish tank at the, uh, the dinner. But we'll give you a little bit of cover for your CMB. Yeah, I should CMB. at least have cover. At the very least. But he's gotta make a save, or be sucked back oh, into yeah, the orb. Oh yeah, look at it. It says, creatures inside the orb gain cover against attacks from the outside. Oh! Isn't that cool? Mm. It's a... It's gonna go After this round, can somebody catch me. me up on what the fuck has been happening? I guess I'll <laughs> use... Here. I don't think he'd be able to see me. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, we, we got the objective to come into here. The dwarf led us to a staircase a at the bit. Temple of Trice. Oh, and no. we followed the path until we came upon these guys. Yeah, and then I hit no a way. with Sleep Storm. He ends up going yeah. in the orb. John died. Huh. God, he escaped, so he went right. right back. Well, he never was in the orb. Alright, he takes now 11 non-lethal. Alright, so, is it the ogre's turn? Uh, no, it is the break turn, right? In fact, it, everything oh, right. inside the orb took 6, because I forgot to do it on their turn last time. Okay. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back also. Cool. I'm pretty sure you can just time. drop the orb and the rest of them would be uh... there. Die yeah, or I was, I was gonna collect the. Uh, I can move the orb up to thirty feet each turn. So I was just gonna move the orb up and then move it back and then drop everything. Cause that's just, pretty easy. Just drop them all on uh, artillery man. Cause I don't. I don't think the. Uh, I don't think the orb is gonna scoop up the. Um, the orcs. Works. It can hold one large creature, but I, I don't really see like my saves aren't really that high. 
Yeah, don't just move it up as high as you can in the room. Like two move actions and then drop it and you've got what? I don't think six I need to sharp do that. objects I just falling spend, from fifty feet. Spend one move action to move it thirty feet up, dispel it, and then everything drops sixty feet. And that's enough to kill most of them. Oh, it's already thirty feet up? No, there's a pit that's thirty feet down. Oh no no no, I was saying drop them on this guy. Oh, uh, well, maybe. Hail of blades. Or <laughs> hail of teeth. Hail of teeth. I don't know. Do I do I take the sure thing of the of a pit killing them or do I go for dropping them on the orc? They're already attacking each other. They will absolutely continue to attack each other. Yeah. Or Probably. anything around them. I mean, okay. it's going to give yeah, ammunition like to the orc, admittedly. But, you know, maybe That's they... more time he's throwing teeth and less time he's uh, shooting people with a pipe. Yeah, which, speaking of, do you want AC over attack and damage? No. Because oh one turn with attack and damage means we don't have to deal with it anymore. How many hit points do these orcs have? Do you guys uh, know? We got hit no, yeah. less, less than 170. <laughs> yeah, less than 170. More than 51. Back. I'll be right back. So, so my plan. Want to kill one. So what? What got you to unabscond? I had something to do. Oh, okay. My plan is to move action into dedicated adversary and body shield, and then probably just move forward to get close enough to attack. Maybe. I could also swift action into just body shield, move action to get close to them, and standard action to warrior spear it up. Obri has too many choices. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. I like the uh, the lightning bolt. That was nice. I didn't realize I could do that. I don't even know what Obri can do. I've been able to do that for like five levels. The enemy could never anticipate what I'll do, because I don't even know. I am the agent of chaos. Wild card, but just... <laughs> You guys try to escape. It's like, why is the cave collapsed? Wild card! <laughs> <laughs> I freaked dynamite our whole way in. Definitely gonna melt that pipe. <laughs> I say this one's got a pipe. It's gonna work because he believes it works, right? I had to assume. I don't know. No, that's the only thing I know about the Warhammer lore. It's a good thing to know. It's one of the most humorous things in their system. That is probably why I know. What else can Oprah do? Looks a character sheet. <laughs> it's just a link to the D20. <laughs> Always was. Hmm, yes, the character sheet is made of character.
Do you meta magic a spell like ability? Uh, I don't think so. Because normally it would require that it be a higher spell slot. Yeah, that's true. Now, if you want to risk it, <laughs> just play with magic, see what happens. Yeah, you know what they say: if you play with magic, you're gonna get great results every time. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Yeah. So you guys got here, and it was fight time. No. No, uh, we we followed the glowing fungus until the cave pretty much tapered off into an end. First, got into here. to be fair, the first thing they found was a snotling village yeah. of sorts, and they just terrorized mm -hmm. them. We didn't. Well, Zeta terrorized them. You did them. what to the snotlings? Basically, they just walked into their village. Zeta flew into their village, and they didn't notice Zeta until she was already in the village, and then she goes, Run for your lives, or whatever she said. And then they all just scattered. Oh no, our lives. Don't the snotlings have it bad enough already? Oh, the right. children. Fuck, they're back. <laughs> they're basically lower than squigs. It's true. Because they're sentient and can feel pain. Just wait for the Gretchen cannons, guys. They're not cannons that Gretchen use. They're, they're cannons that fire Gretchens. Mm hmm. The Gretchens are strapped with explosives. <laughs> they could just fire explosives at you. Yeah, but then they won't have a guidance system. Aren't orcs great? <laughs> it's funny, because... Everything orcs do makes sense. Sure. Like, it doesn't. It's because they don't. But it's so pure. They're not intricate enough to not make sense. Can you guys actually just turn me into an orc? Probably. Careful what you wish for, Don. <laughs> Kill Switch has been sitting happened? on this limited wish for a while. Yeah. You know what happened oh, yeah. last time? I uh, gave you body modifications. Which, which also we, uh... Me. Leslie, I need to know if I can cast this spell with uh, with my my limited wish. I don't know what spell it is. Uh, psychic Reformation. It's a psionic I don't like power. this. Pretty sure I said no, didn't I? Did you? Did I? I didn't get an answer. What is that spell? Maybe I just know? vomited whenever I read it. Yeah, would I be able to psionic power with a limited wish? I think you said it to me, did Psionic Reformation. I thought you sent it to me at some point, and then I vomited in my mouth. To be fair, I sent it like in the middle of the day. Oh yeah, I remember this one. You literally yeah. just you you rework your character on the fly. It allows you to re spins. Yeah, your yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the no. <laughs> okay, it was worth a shot. Yeah, um, you just get a free floating all of your skill points. Speaking of uh, limited wish, though, what do we what do we want to do with that in case anything goes bad in here? I mean, how I bad believe there was it... talk about making yeah. uh, making Don into an orc. No, I mean like a get out plan. And how, Just how turn. do you cast limited wish? Is it like a long performance or anything like that? <laughs> Guys, look. If Don dies, I, mean, I have a summoner you guys would like way more on the back end. Fucking Ober's like, how many people could you say with limited wish, and who's your best friend? <laughs> I mean, you didn't tell me to charge into a pit that you knew would try and suck yeah. me in. Yeah, I would say it's definitely a tie-up between Zeta and Avery, but... <laughs> and it's only a one full round to, to do it. I, I wow. gave you glorious adventure, all right? So I had every was, confidence that you would make it. What was the restoration needed for? Did you take wisdom damage for that or something? Yeah, I take um, wisdom drain. 
Mm. Yeah, we could definitely circumvent that bad boy. Yeah, I've got a ring that I can circumvent the first with, but you know, it's only it can only do so much. So I get like one for semi-free. Um, yeah, one for restoration for cost. today will be good. Yeah. Well, so I have first, a question. Sure. But beyond that. What are the logistics of an Eidolon? Uh, God, you're going to ask me summoner questions? Grabbing uh, Francis' spear. Mm -hmm. Only one way to find out. It's pronounced yeah. Eidolon. Eidolion? Say it like That's I said, a chameleon. Don dies. I've got a pretty wicked summoner on the back burner. Don, if you die, you have to just take the reanimated spiritualist archetype, come back as a ghost Don, and wreak revenge on all your enemies. Yeah. So, you want me to wreak revenge on all of you? No, we're your best friends. You <laughs> see, you have this, this cross-up between friend and enemy. It comes back as the ghost to the spiritualist, but the spiritualist is like, yeah, I'm helping this guy wreak damage on his enemies or whatever, and Don's like, that's them. That's them right there. He's like, nah, I think you're confused. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Do you yeah, really think good. Francis would let Don die? Fuck, that's really good, actually. <laughs> Pipe down now, Phantom of Anger. Yeah. Yeah. And besides, if you did die, I'd bring you back enough to, like, kill you myself and put you in the spear. <laughs> Alright. It's that spear. Get in. Yeah, alright. Get in the spear. Is like, I finally win. You know, you'd be able to yell into my brain for 24 hours anyway. Yeah, it's so true. You'd, you'd get a full day of, like, direct haunting me. Are we all? Are we all back? Leo? Yeah. yeah. All right. Is there a full day of me killing Francis? Well, you just get to... I get to hear you in my mind. I think we're just missing L. No, I'm here. Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think it's Obri's turn, then. Obri's turn. I'm going to... Die. I will, um... Swift action to pick up body shield feet. I will advance forward with my move action. Is that 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Uh, and I will yeah standard action to enchant my beard with orc bane and that's it yeah, I think you're going to be really upset with the result of this. Alright, Leland. See, are they not orcs? In, or we already went orcs over this. Okay, are different. I'm going to enchant were... my beard with Bane them. <laughs> Bane them! <laughs> Bane my enemy. Fuck, that's pretty I, mean, good. I can roll with knowledge before I enchant it. Yeah, you knowledge, know knowledge dungeoneering. Aberrations and plants. Knowledge tabletop games. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Which means we all know exactly <laughs> what they're made of. Fungus. We must thank the Emperor for this fungal flesh. Yeah, they're aberrations. Right. It's be Bane aberration. Bane aberration it is. And that is it for Obri. All right, Leland. Well, thanks to pit in the ground, it's uh, difficult to uh, to approach that one. So I'll move to here and uh, slap. You have reach. Yes. Remember, long sword, long great sword. I can. Do it with a minus four. Okay. We just let's see. We... Let 
that threatens. What the fuck? <laughs> here we Beautiful. go again. Yep, here we go again. Take his ass to the waking sands. What an absolute <laughs> monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get mad. Do you, That's do you my want favorite. To, uh, instead of just asking how much damage it does, do you want to just ask how it dies? Uh, I think he could possibly not kill it. Actually, it's dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> he could possibly not kill it. It's dead. Well, Francis is watching in pure amazement. Leland is literally just like one shot swing through this group of aberration orcs. I should have used cleave. Yeah, well. Now bad. here we are. <laughs> All right. We's the biggest and the best. All right, this guy is going to try to climb out. Does he even want to? <laughs> no. <laughs> And he doesn't anyway. <laughs> the guy in the back is gonna take a full. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna get into his own little stance there. Uh, all right, Zeta, we're back to you. Uh. Okay. We're gonna. Oh, damn it! Give me the. This. We're gonna move the uh, <clears throat> the Aquaeus orb up above the guy with the pipe. All right. And then we're gonna raise it higher. And then we're gonna dispel it. It's gonna drop a bunch of things on it. Yeah. Angry, agitated squigs. <laughs> That's what six of them. I love this combat. This has been fun. I think there's only I think there's only four left in the thing. Four conscious left in the thing. Yeah, that's gonna be a really unhappy. Orc. There were only three things in the pit. No, no, two of them fell out. I just couldn't remove them from the fucking ah the clusterfuck of them. Either he'll be really upset, or he'll be really happy because we just saved his pets. We just I think this is. I think this is our food, right? Food, and pets, pets <laughs> toys, weapons, weapons basketballs, mm. grenades, uh, cockfights, grenades, clothes, bags, uh, shelter, tools. Uh, tools. There tools. are certain twigs that actually mm -hmm. produce oil. Wigs. I hate everything about this. <laughs> we just buffed him. You mean you no, love everything about this? Those. No, 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 no. These are these are eaten squigs. As in, they eat things. Mm -hmm. Not and to be confused with, times. yeah. Not to be confused with eaten squigs, which are just um, squigs to be eaten. Blobs that serve no purpose except to be eaten. Oh no! Oh, oh, boy, post God. God. I'm trying to I'm trying to get rid of this fucking oh, orb. I see. <laughs> Zeta, get rid of the orb. L. Get rid of the what? The orb. Get You're the, the only circle. one who can actually get rid of it. Only you can prevent circles. Orcoid culture is so deep. Yeah. So, falling damage. Oh, how high could you bring it before you dropped him? Oh, uh, 50 feet? 50 feet. Well, it's only like 20 foot ceilings, so... To the ceiling. Okay. Uh, so they're only going to fall like 10 feet before they bounce off this boy. It's okay, though. I don't think... I don't actually think most of them could survive this fall. Let's, let's say one of them makes it. There were more in there than I thought. Two of them make it. The one that was stabbed before certainly didn't make it. You're missing an opportunity not using the Dawn of War orc theme for this fight. I didn't have time. 
You had a week. Or can't wait. <laughs> Alright, is that all you got, Zuda? Does that orb do damage as it passes through the, uh... Boy in the back oh, yeah, there? It does, it does 2d6, uh, non-lethal. There you go. Five, five non-lethal to him. Does it also do that damage to the, uh, squigs? Uh, it does that to the squigs at the start of their turn. Which, I guess I didn't do it last round either, so... Um, probably unconscious. There, they all took another two non-lethal. Yeah, they don't have that much HP. All right, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty confident that you guys got these uh these orc boys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of fly over this way, and uh, that'll be it for me. All right, Francis, your pinata has been taken from you. Yeah, and those boys are too far down to poke you. Yeah. yeah 30 feet, you could, you could go down there. You could go down there. It's only 30 feet. It's tempting. Super tempting. Also, Zeta's but... probably not looking at you. <laughs> what are you getting at? <laughs> I'm just saying, you would never betray Zeta. I would never betray Zeta. Um, I would, oh, I however, know. step back a bit. Here. Into the pit? I get a good base back. Right back into that pit. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back here. Uh, maintain song. And... Hey. I want to cast spells, but I just don't think it's worth it at the moment. Give me a reason to cast a spell. You're a spellcaster. <laughs> Got him. I don't know what I was expecting. There are three orcs and one goblin left. The goblin looks like he's running for a switch of some kind. Can't you just like give someone a hero point for the turn? Yeah, for money. Yeah, for <laughs> money. Money. And they'd also have to spend it within the next round. Oh my god. Leland, sure ahead. Leland? <laughs> How you feel about taking an extra action, buddy? Ah, uh, I have one of those. <laughs> no, we, we haven't been paid yet. <laughs> what so... do you get the man with extra actions? Yeah. <laughs> everything. Yeah, no, it's not. What are these? We can't use. <laughs> you know what? Do you... you guys have got this right? <laughs> Pulls out his lawn chair. You guys don't just tax us. <laughs> Deliberates for the whole turn. Oh, that, that's it. Take I said you guys full, have got this. Take a full turn to deliberate. I'll yeah. maintain song. Yeah. Do a little twirl with the banner. Right. You stop singing just for a turn, just for the lulls. <laughs> just to watch people struggle a little bit. It's the only way I can feel powerful anymore. <laughs> I control everything. <laughs> life, death, life, death, life, death. Life, death, life, death. <laughs> you know what, fuck it, I'll activate a fly. Fine, if you want me to do something. I'll fly. Fine, I'll, I'll... I guess I'll fly. Guess I'll magically levitate. Yeah. Great, now I'm weightless. Are you happy? Sable, could you kill some of these things, please? I'll try. Alright. I appreciate you. Go for it. Since Fran first. Francis turns over. See, I, I mean... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go 
could have went and tried to stab one, but no. <laughs> Safe, well, please go. <laughs> right. I just want you to know, Francis, that orcs are neutral. They're chaotic well, get... neutral, but they are neutral. Oh, well, you're just talking about ogre. Yeah. I shoot the goblin. You roll for that. Why the goblin? He's going he's, for yeah, a Yeah, he's switch. escaping. Yeah, doing something. <laughs> doing something shady over there. He's running away like a bitch. <laughs> See the damage. Yeah, which is never a good thing. <laughs> Guess he's gonna die like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> if we could have kept him as a pet. Who wants a bitch damage? pit? Yeah, he's dead. We'll go for the... I can see the gun boy now. Thank you. Call it that. Yeah, that'll hit. 24 damage. 24 damage. 31 hit him. Oh, yeah. Nice. That hit him? Yep. It's a flop. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And 18 hit his touch. Um. Uh, yeah. Bang, 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 bang. It's like I'm playing Devil May Cry 2. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's still standing. Yeah, oh, I God. figured. Why'd you, you say bloody? that? You applied your plus sevens? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. One step, and I, I'm a CM, D, CMB character. He's gonna drink a jug of, like, dirty water and miraculously heal, like, 80 million damage. She wanted me to kill him, not trip him. Man. I know what I said. Alright, well this one's gonna try to stand. No, he's not. No, he's not. You go first, Donovan. <laughs> After you. Oh, wait, you already... No, you didn't do one yet. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Guess that's how this is gonna go today. Everybody's filing his nails. Yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Uh, it wouldn't be a session if I didn't ask how we did crits. It's a uh, max damage plus roll. So it's. Uh, shit. I just don't like that. If you crit, do you could do less damage than a normal attack. It hurts my soul. So, 124? Yeah. Alright. I think I have Orc Brain on my hand. Don Don's eyes shift over to the one with the gun. And he kind of thumbs to himself as he says, I is the biggest and the best. Uh, Sable yells out, and I've got the better gun! The Sable next one is going to start oh, swinging on... <laughs> the next one's going to start swinging on Don. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> 25 even hit. Nope. No. Of course not. Can I get an attack of opportunity for this? Sure. <laughs> Come on, 20! Oh. oh my god. Perfectly balanced. Confirm. Doesn't confirm. I'm fine. No, it doesn't confirm. Alright. I think it's possible for us to confirm these anymore. We might want to rethink this. No, I'm fine with no. it. It has the same possibility. 22 doesn't hit either, I'm sure. No. Oh, you're right. I, I get what you mean. 
Well, there went that, and then the one in the back. It's gonna blap blap me. Oh yeah. Well, I, it's a I 33 hit touch. That I'm the biggest and the best. Yes, it does. Leland, I'm really hoping that you can kill that guy next turn. His muscle gains? Whack. Well, it's your turn next. Oh, I'm killing the one right in front of me. Oh, okay. It's I'll a 32 hit one. touch. You take the gun, boy. Yeah. Alright. So, 24 damage and then 16 damage from the, the boy in the back. Oh, I'm at 62 health. And then it's Donovan's turn. Cool. I'm gonna take a five foot, five foot flap, just to, just to, you know, get ready to, to click a clack, check, click a clack, bow. And it's a one. Hey, it wasn't a one. Surprising, isn't it? There you go. 60 damage. Oh, jeez, Louise. Uh, here's the CMB. What was it? Yeah, it was 32. Everything's just 32. That's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, here's the CMB. Does a 40 knock him down? Yes, it does. Yeah. Um, Pretty sure a 40 yeah. could knock down an elephant. Here comes the second hit. Well, the stomp. That definitely hits. Uh, it's okay. My next hit does less damage. By a small margin. Uh, yeah, by a small margin. It's plus 10 total, right? You got plus 7 to damage from the banner and plus 7 to damage from me. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, yeah. Plus yeah. three to attack and plus seven to damage as okay. well. Okay, uh, 51 damage. Uh, the next hit. Is that a 51 to hit? No. No, it's 51 damage. 51 damage. Does a 42 hit? Yes, it does. Yep. And your minimum damage will kill this with that last hit. And <laughs> he rolled minimum damage! <laughs> what a coincidence! And as uh, Don's fist plunges through uh, this one's head, he lets out a mighty wog. Wog! Alright. I guess we're up to Obri. Right, I guess I mean, I'm the leader of the orcs now, guys. I guess I'll just clean up. Um, I will... Obri, make this one non-lethal. Uh, I can't... I don't know if I can do that. I, I'll just walk up and grab one. Try nice to. The big one and the best. I'll walk up to him and bow before striking him with my hair. It's a 26 hit oh. you. Uh, I got too close, didn't I? Yeah, yeah you me. did. Take 22 damage. All right. I wipe the blood from my lip and hit it with my hair anyway. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. 23. Here comes the seismic 10. uppercut from the hair. I imagine you wipe your blood with, like, your mustache. <laughs> yeah, it, it wipes it. Uh, 46 hit. Yeah. That's 1d4 plus 14 plus how much damage? 14 damage. Yeah, 7 from Banner, 7 from Sable. Alright, that's 29 damage. Reaction to Grapple. No, there's no need. No need. He was Too barely bad. hanging on before the 29 came in. These wimpy grots. Remember, Sable wrecked him pretty good earlier. Yeah, she put three good shots into him last round. I thought it was four. Oh yeah, I didn't even add it? my uh, Bane damage to that. Them, Bane of them. Well, I think that's a decent spot to call it, because I'm going to be honest with you, there's more.
fine with that. And this I think fun. we're gonna need I'm... another session to get through it. I'm having fun. Is everybody well, else too. having fun? Well, that's I'm good. Going to three, three or four, three or four sessions of this. No, a.m. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Some have people to, have to have, work. Yeah, I have to wake up at five. Cool. Or you could just start working at five because you're already awake. No, because I have to drive to work. Unlike some uh, people. Ooh, rough. You got you got one of those uh, pre-corona jobs. It's stupid because I was working from home before, but meh. Meh. <laughs> All right. I'll kill off old Strimo. I heard John's got the sickness, huh? I don't know if it's Rona, but... He just needs to show up to work for a little bit so we can all go home. Okay.